hey everyone welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to be taking you on a day in the life as a science slash medical writer so if this is your first time on the channel hey there i am dr gertrude nontra and on this channel i create content on how to slay grad school and navigate the career market after the fact so typically what happens in the mornings for me i'm up between six and seven um and then i do my morning routine and then i'm usually off to take a walk and do some exercise so after that i usually go take a shower get prepared get ready to uh, start working and then <laughs> here i am in my home office right now um and i have a bit of a setup with a few computers um this is my personal computer here this is my work setup now today i am planning on going to our office to our agency office i am a science and medical writer with an agency and we do have a, an office right now most of us are working remotely um but you can go into office if you need to and today i need to go into office because i need some quiet to work my child is sick um has been sick for the last three days he did test negative for the covv but um yeah he is still coughing and i don't want to send him to school with a cough so he's home but my husband and him are going to drop me off at my office so i can work from there so you can come with us i've actually already had one meeting today um with uh, a, a group um one of the groups within our agency and maybe i'll talk about how it works as an agency writer at some point in this video but yeah let's get ready for me to head to the office so we truly have a really nice drive from my home um to the office and this particular day when I got to the office, nobody was here. It was just one person and I, and we were separated by several, several feet. So as you can see, the office is empty and I am um, moving towards my desk. Um, once I get into the office, I like to get set up so I can start working for the day. This is my task list. I usually have three main things I want to do in a day, three major things. There's so many little other things I do as a science writer, but I try to choose three big things to do in a day. So, yep, yeah, my setting up. Um, once I set up, I just go at it until it is time to go home. Um, usually, this particular day, I had, I had all my meetings in the morning, so um, the rest of the day was just really free for me to simply right so um my camera died <laughs> and so i have to use my phone for um for filming my husband should be here to pick me up shortly it looks like it's gonna rain you gotta see this <laughs> wow well, it's not as cloudy as i thought it used to be cloudy before <laughs> but for San Diego this kind of weird so work is done I was waiting for my husband to pick me up and he is here so yep let's go let's go home um so I've been here since about 11 ish 11 30 ish and um now it's almost 6 p.m so yep <laughs> I was editing this video when I realized that I hadn't really talked about what a typical day looks like for me and the reality is that there is no typical day but there are certain things that week after week I do and so number one meetings okay so I have several meetings throughout the course of the week sometimes those meetings maybe just one hour sometimes I'll have meetings for like three hours not one meeting multiple meetings but they all add up to about three hours of my day these meetings could be team meetings so I am on the content team at my company we have 
um, the public relations team, we have a, a creative design team, we have copywriting, we have branding, and we all work together. And so my team specifically creates written content for life and health sciences companies to market their businesses. And so sometimes we have team meetings to discuss where everything is, how everybody is doing, and I enjoy those meetings. It's a really nice way to catch up with all the team members as well as our boss. We may also have meetings that have to do with new business coming into the company. Um, and <clears throat> this would be us putting together ideas that we can send to the company as part of a proposal. Once we have clients, new clients come in, we also have meetings to kick off projects and so that would mean that we discuss with the point people usually within the, these companies there'll be point people usually they're in some kind of marketing role at that company and they will be the point person that will give us you know that we will reach out to if we need anything as we're creating content. Sometimes the meetings have to do with status, like where are we on this particular project? How can we align better so that we can deliver this to the client on time? So the meetings could be for a variety of reasons. All right, so meetings take up a good chunk of the week. And then of course, one of the things that I really enjoy about my job is studying. Um, as a science writer, I have to study a lot and read a lot of research in areas that I myself didn't do research and I think that's one of the most exciting things about this job for me because it's never really boring it's never there's always something new to learn so I do dedicate some time to like reading news articles um, research articles research that's out there on a topic so that I can write really strong um, scientific documents for um, and marketing content as well for our clients then of course comes the part where I actually write this takes up a good chunk of the week um, writing and then usually when I write something I'll send it over to another team member to proofread or read or let me know if I'm missing anything um, and then they will send it back I'll do if there are any corrections fix those and then you know then they will be having to send that to the account team so that it goes to the clients so there is a lot that's involved as you can see um, being a science writer it's not just about sitting there just like typing and writing all day yes that is a big chunk of my work but I'm me in meetings I'm studying and reading I am chatting with people I'm getting to know topics so it, it, there's a lot of diversity when it comes to that uh, to, to this job so on, a, on a, any given day I could be a mixture of these activities and so that's why I said it never really looks the same so if you'd like me to make more of these day in the life kind of behind the scenes videos let me know I'll be more than happy to do that and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up